Hi guys, uh, this is Mike, and the topic of this Wizard of Odds Academy video will be on the importance of a blackjack paying three to two odds in blackjack as opposed to six to five, which is a very common rule variation right now. Um, here in Las Vegas, you see a lot of players playing six to five blackjack, even at high amounts. And frankly, I have no idea why, other than out of a ignorance of math. So I hate to have to insult your intelligence by even pointing this out, but three divided by two equals 1.5. Six divided by five is 1.2. So the player will get 30% of a bet more with every winning blackjack if he's playing three to two blackjack as opposed to six to five. Um, how important is that rule mathematically? Um, let's see. Um, let's assume six decks of cards, which is the norm, and the, that the player has no knowledge of any other cards in the deck. So. The probability that the first card the player gets is worth 10 points is 96 divided by 312. Because there are 96 10 point cards, 16 times 6 is 96, and 312 total cards in the shoe, 52 times 6 is 312. So, assuming the player's first card is a 10-point card, he at least has hope of a blackjack, he will need an ace for that second card. There are 24 aces in the shoe and 311 cards left. However, the player might get the ace first. Um, it's just as likely to get the ace first um, in a blackjack as a blackjack starting with a 10-point card. So we multiply this by two. So the probability the player gets a blackjack is equal to 4.75%. However, in order for this um, pay to make any difference, it must be a winning blackjack. If the dealer gets a blackjack two, uh, then it doesn't make any difference. So once the player has a blackjack, what is the probability the dealer will get one? Well, um, again, the dealer could get the ace and the ten in either order, thus the two. There will be 95 ten-point cards left in the shoe out of 310 cards after you take out the two player cards. There will be 23 aces left by the time it's the dealer's second card. So, assuming the player has a blackjack, the probability that the dealer gets one as well is 4.56%. It goes down because the player already um, has an ace and a 10 out of the shoe. So the odds are a little bit down due to the effect of removal. So the probability that the player has a winning blackjack equals 4.75% times one minus 4.56%. In other words, the probability of a player blackjack at times the probability that the dealer does not have a blackjack. So the probability that the player has a winning blackjack is equal to 4.5%. 5-3%. So the math of this is really quite easy. The probability the player has a winning blackjack is 4.53%, um, which is conveniently 1 in 21, and the game is called 21, so that's easy to remember. Every time the player gets a winning blackjack if he's pay, playing three to two blackjack as opposed to six to five he will win point three times his bet more 
because 3 divided by 2 minus 6 divided by 5 equals 0 0.3 as we showed before. 4.53% times 0 0.3 equals 1.36%. So that means if the player plays 6 to 5 blackjack as opposed to 3 to 2, he's giving the casino an extra 1.36% of his bet, probably for nothing. This assumes all other rules being equal. Okay, I hope that I have convinced you guys not to play 6 to 5 blackjack when given the choice. However, if you're still on the fence, let me throw some more numbers at you. Uh, these are all based on what are normally otherwise fairly standard Las Vegas strip rules. You can find these at most of the MGM slash Mirage properties. Dealer hits a soft 17, double after a split allowed, player may double on any two cards, surrender allow is allowed, and resplitting aces is allowed. With correct basic strategy and a blackjack paying three to two, the house advantage under those rules is a nice low 0.46%. That is giving the casino less than one in 200 hands. So it's a, a pretty cheap way to gamble. However, if we just change that blackjack pay from three to two to six to five, then as I just showed you, the house advantage goes up by 1.36% to 1.82%. So 0.46% to 1.82%. That is almost four times as high. So that's paying four times as much for the same service and product. Um, let me tell you what that looks like in terms of your expected losses per hour. If you are a $5 player, an hour worth of play on average will cost you $1.66 at a 3 to 2 table and $6.55 at a 6 to 5 table. A $10 player can expect to lose $3.31 per hour at a 3 to 2 table and $13.10 at a 6 to 5 table. A $25 player can expect to lose $8. 28 at a 3 to 2 table and 3276 at a 6 to 5 table. And finally, a $50 player can expect to lose 1656 at a 6 at a 3 to 2 table and 65.52 um, per hour at a 6 to 5 table. So, I hope I've convinced you to stay away from 6 to 5 blackjack wherever you can. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are saying, Mike, um, I'm a, a low roller. I'm uncomfortable with the limits at the 6 to 5 table, I mean at the 3 to 2 tables. If that's true, okay, I get it. Um, you may not really have the choice in that situation, and you may be stuck with 6 to 5 if you must play. Um, yeah, sometimes there's just nothing you can do about it, and the situation is only getting worse. The casinos here in Las Vegas, as well as I think everywhere in the United States, are trying to phase out 3-2 to two blackjack slowly but surely, as it's really not very profitable for them. And I don't think I have anything much more to say on this topic, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next Wizard of Odds Academy video. Thank you. Bye, guys.